most respected Swamiji's, faculty members, and my dear young brothers and sisters. It gives me immense pleasure to be here with you, even though it is something like 6.30 p.m. Everyone has got a smiling face. That's really something great. I apologize in one sentence. I tried to reach here sharp 5.25 because of the fast development of India. We could not reach here in time. Second thing, minor correction, 28 years I was not spending on Indian heritage and science. Purely 28 years I was spending in biochemistry in India, University of Alberta, Canada, University of Illinois, U.S. And for the last 45 years I was going through the Indian heritage <coughs> rationally, logically and scientifically, systematically and customatically. There is no English word like customatic. But all this gave me a little bit knowledge, 180 degree in front, 180 degree behind. I was specifically told that I should not use more than 29 minutes, 60 seconds. So I will be stopping my speech within that time. Two minutes over, coming to the point. If you want to learn about Indian heritage, Specifically four areas are there. First subject, Indian customs and rituals. Second, Indian spirituality. Third, Indian literature. And fourth, Indian scientific and technological knowledge. Customs and rituals, acharas. Divide the acharas into three. Sadachara, Durachara, Anachara. Sadachara, which gives you positive result. Anachara, which are irrelevant in the 21st century. Durachara, which gives negative results. So, any achara, if you are following, for Hindus, the speciality is that Swagrame Purnamacharyam. Anyagrame tadardagam, patane to tatpadam, yatre balat acharate. Since you are Hindus and Indians and born in India and brought up in India, you might not have heard Sanskrit. So, swagrame purnamacharam. All the customs and rituals that you are expected to follow, follow it only if and only if you are in your own village. If you are shifting to some other village, Tadardhagam. If you are in a city, Pattanetu Tatpadam. One quarter. If you are on tour, Yatre Balat Acharate. Don't follow any Achara. When I was uh, coming from California last uh, July, I found that one fellow has booked two seat in the flight. I was not knowing why two seat. He happened to be a Jew. He wanted to pray 20 hours for which two seats are needed. One leg in this seat, another leg in this seat. Two seats for him. I got shocked. I was sitting nearby that. So what we say, if you are on tour, end tour, no acharyas needed. So, Sudhirame Purnam Acharyam, Anyagrame Tadardhagam, Pattanetu Tatpadam, Yatre Balat Acharyatet. Suppose some of the rituals and customs your forefathers followed, blindly don't follow that. Tatasya kupo yamiti purvana ka purusha chara jalam vipati. Seeing that my father, I respect him, I love him, he has dug this well. But this well has got salt water now. For showing respect towards him, I need not drink salt water from this well. I am kupaha. Tatasya iti bruvana. I am kubaha this well. Tatasya iti bruvana. Telling that this well belongs to my father. Kaburishaha. Which person? 
chara jalam pibadi drinks salt water you need not do that one so always follow acharya rationally logically and scientifically sadacharam duracharam anacharam follow acharya completely if you are in your own village if you are shifting to next village half of that one if you are in a city one fourth of that one if you are traveling don't worry like a boy or a girl be free like a bird and go ahead with that one but remember that if you have got any doubt about your acharya आचिनोति शास्त्रार्थान शिष्यान साधयते सुदी स्वयं आचरती चैवा सह आचार्य इति स्मृता आस्क द क्वेश्चन टू एन आचार्य एंड दैट आचार्य इज नॉट द पर्सन हु हैज गॉट भस्म कुरी अप टू दिस मच एंड दैट आचार्य नीड नॉट हैव टू हैव टू इंच डायमीटर साफ्रन हियर नीड नॉट हैव टू हैव रुद्राक्षम बट एन आचार्य आचिनोति शास्त्रार्थान हु नोस प्रेटी वेल द साइंटिफिक मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट इज बीइंग बीइंग फोल आउट शास्त्रार्थान दो सु नो द साइंटिफिक मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट यू आर फॉलोइंग एज कस्टम्स एंड रिचुअल्स आचिनोति शास्त्रार्थान शिष्यान साधयते सुदी हु कैन टीच द स्टूडेंट्स वेरी सिंपल वे एंड नाइस वे विद मिनिमम वर्ड्स maximum message so that the student is in a position to understand that achino tija shastra arthan shishya ansadayate sudhi swayam acharati chaiva that person who is giving you advice he should be in a position to practice it in his life saha acharya iti smrata that person is known as acharya whatever that acharya 25% आचार्या पादमादत्ते पादम शिष्य स्वमेदया नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट यू हैव टू फॉलो यूवर्सल पादम स ब्रह्मचारी बाय डिस्कसिंग विथ अदर्स द थर्ड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट शेषम कालक्रमेण चा द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ लिविंग बाय डिलीशन मॉडिफिकेशन एंड करेक्शन दैट शुड बी द बेसिस ऑफ आचार Why do we perform acharya? Not for going directly to heaven. Standing here, if you look the other direction, you will know that none of you are going to go to heaven. The reason is in the heaven we have got only 554 seats. It is meant for Delhi people. So don't worry about going to heaven. Our ultimate aim is making heaven in this year. so acharyas are performed for elevating the mind elevating the body elevating the family relation elevating the social bondage and elevating the national integration these are five so acharya lepadeshayu acharya dhanamakshayam acharya lepadeshu praja acharyo andya lakshanam if i am overloading you with the sanskrit shloka so opting for going out while not be overloading with the more sanskrit i i wanted to tell the sanskrit shloka when i explain all these things you should not think that these are all gopala krishnan's and interpretation and other thing no these are all what is given here it is none of the word i have made of my own it is available from here unfortunately we are ignorant yesterday was telling Unfortunately, we are ignorant, and unfortunately, we are ignorant that we are ignorant. That is the problem. So, always, always remember that. Acharya, everybody, are you for? Are you Arogya Sautyam? We are following Acharya. Acharya, the Dharma Shyam. By following Acharya, we will become prosperous. Acharya. Lepate supraja or acharya are performed for building the social bondage and family relation. Acharya bahan selectionam by following acharya we should remember that we are developing our own personality, not for going away. So remember that if I bless you putting my right hand on your head, the line every blessing changes the brain chemistry from. 
negative to positive. That is Professor Eric Burns' words. Eric Burns, transactional analysis, born in Germany, but in America, one of the greatest psychiatrists. So, one blessing means that has got an achara, curative chemicals are produced in the brain, that will be normalizing your body. So, blessing is an achara which changes your brain chemistry to positive. When you do Surya Namaskara, then yoga asanas are there. 186 movable joint in our body gets perfect exercise. So that All India Institute of Medical Science has declared that Surya Namaskara is the king of the exercises. So, Surya Namaskara improves your health. Blushing improves the improves the brain performance and motivation takes place. When you listen to a mantra, neuro-linguistic effect is there. When you listen to a good mantra, in such a way that it is not chanted very loudly or very low words. That mantra when you listen, not because of the spirituality, but because of that particular music therapeutical effect, 24 type of hormones are produced in the brain that will be maintaining the brain waves at 13.8 cycles per second. That will be maintaining your heartbeat at 68 plus or minus. That will be maintaining your blood pressure and also cholesterol level at 8140 level within that. And purely five biochemical changes are taking place in your body when you are sitting somewhere and listening to Veda Mantra. If you are going to New Orleans, New Orleans, if you happen to get trapped in a four square where red signal of the light is there, definitely some American will come and give you car cassette. Car cassette means Veda Mantra CD. Putting in the car, listening to that, then driving, your BP will be normal. Your BP will be normal if you have not taken liquor. So, that mantra has got an effect. The blessing has got an effect. The motivation has got an effect. Appreciation has got an effect. When I am telling you some story that has got an effect. So, when you are sitting in meditation, doing meditation, a perfect theta level meditation, now you are sitting at a beta level. You may be knowing that. In between, something like 12.8 cycles per second to 27.3 cycles per second. That is your brain waves now. If you are meditating, not sleeping, meditating, it will be coming down up to 8.3. That is known as alpha level. If you further meditate, it will come down to 4 point, below 4.3. It is known as theta level. 10 minutes theta level meditation is equal to 10 hours sleeping. 10 minutes theta level meditation is equal to 10 hours sleeping. That much rest the brain cells will be getting. So, Acharas can be explained by scientific method. You should not keep your head towards north direction and if possible not towards south also. If you are lying down that way after 3-4 hours the magnetic meridian of the earth will be influencing the hemoglobin present in your body and the hemoglobin gets trapped in the brain capillary enough oxygen will not be available. That is why it is told, either sleep keeping your head towards east or west. Whenever you are studying something or meditating something or reading something, try to keep your face towards eastern direction because the magnetic flux of the brain and the magnetic flux of the earth becomes complementary and uh, the brain activity can be improved by 17%, 17%. So these are all the acharyas we followed in India from time immemorial. We used to tell that never sit on the floor when you are doing meditation or prayer. Why? The biostatic electricity will be automatically getting earthed to avoid that a non-conductor is to be kept there. When you are when you are sleeping for 5, 6, 7 hours and early morning when you are getting at 5.30, you are told to sit in the bed for about 30 seconds. 
and at that time you are requested to do a prayer karagre vasade lakshmi karamadhye saraswati karamule sthita gauri prabhate kara darshanam one of the hardcore leftist in kerala he told me that i could understand the scientific meaning of sitting and praying but i am a leftist so i don't want to chant salakshmi saraswati parvati it will not go with my culture then i told him sit get up at 5:30 sit on the bed and chant the mantra jayya 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 ajayya ajayya one music song is there no in hindi shahrukh khan's movie jayya 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 he is singing that in the top of the train you have not heard you don't go to movie before reading ramayana go to some movie so it is clearly means anything you can do 1997 world health organization conducted a survey and they declared that 23% of the heart attack based death is taking place when you are suddenly getting up from the bed because the horizontal body when becomes vertical the jerk taking place for the heart cannot be withstood by the heart it cannot be withstood so you sit on the bed 30 second you spend the by that time your heart will get a balanced no problem so it's a pure science not discovered by gopala krishna discovered informed by world health organization after morning prayer you are told to touch the floor many people used to touch the the floor carpet or something like that but touching the carpet does not mean anything if the bedroom is full of carpet then touch the wall that is to be touched समुद्र वसने देवी पर्वत स्तन मंडले विष्णु पत्नी नमस्तुभ्यं पाद स्पर्शं क्षम स्वमे द स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज देयर यू आर चैंटिंग मंत्र व्हेन यू आर टचिंग द फ्लोर द बायोस्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अक्युमुलेटेड इन योर बॉडी व्हेन यू आर रोलिंग इन द बेड दैट शुड नॉट गेट डिफ्यूज्ड थ्रू योर लेग इफ इट इज गेटिंग डिफ्यूज्ड थ्रू योर लेग विद इन 40 45 इयर्स द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग आर्थराइटिस इज देयर that can be prevented if the electricity is passing through your hand that is why you are touching the floor so we have got sadachara which is good for mind body building family relation building social bondage and national integration sadachara anachara it is not relevant in 21st century some of the temples if you are going they will be telling that when you have to remove the shirt then you have to go inside and pray the moment you removed your shirt you will become body conscious is it not so going to the temple removing shirt is anachara not needed at all so some of the and i gave only one example some of the acharyas are durachayas it is not a tar leaven it creates negative my mental effect or body effect or family relation based negative effect, something like that so i told you if you want to learn about indian heritage four branches first achara i am stopping it there you can ask any number of questions later second indian spirituality if you have read a book fridge of capra fridge of capra's book tao of physics he has written many books is berkeley university theoretical physics head of the department and also visiting scientist in 17 american university fridge of capra is one of the greatest physicist in in you yes he has made a quotation beautiful quotation where the ultra modern physics has come to an abrupt end there starts ancient indian upanishadic philosophy where the ultra modern physics has come to an abrupt end there starts ancient indian upanishadic philosophy upanishadic philosophy conveys you four messages if you can remember it is very good if it is difficult to remember try not to forget that so the first message pratnyanam brahma message of rigveda second message or chemical but you can see an elephant how that elephant picture is kept in your brain only one answer yesterday i told you second letter of hindi or tamil what is that Oh. how that if you are seeing a mustard you can say this is mustard how the mustard picture is kept in your brain how the taste of sambar is kept in your brain you know adal bihari vajpay when he starts talking his second bhava in astrology has got saturn 
सो आफ्टर टेलिंग भाई और बहनों देन यू कैन गो आउट साइड एंड टेक ए टी एंड कम बैक देन ओनली ही विल बी टेलिंग नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाइफ सो द मोमेंट यू लिसन टू अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट इज अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एंड यू लिसन टू वी एस अच्युदानंदन केरला पर्सन immediately even though you are closing your eyes you can say that voice belongs to achyudananda is it not and your dr manmohan singh even if he speaks you will not be listening because he himself will not be hearing that so but you will know it is his voice it is his voice so you know the taste of sambar you know the taste of avial chutney patni talasheri kolasheri pulisheri everything you know the taste this taste how it is kept in the brain the sight is kept in your brain the voice is kept in your brain chembe vaidyanatha bhagavatar swatta piganapati mbaji is there in your brain balamurli krishnas that is there in your brain so many pictures it is there in your brain so many taste so many smell suppose you are closing your eyes and somebody is bringing near by your nose one jasmine flower and asking you how is the smell of rose flower what you will say you will say it is not rose it is jasmine flower even though your eyes are closed you will say it is jasmine because the smell is kept in your brain can anyone in this iit campus tell how the smell is kept in the brain how the sight is kept in the brain and why all 703 crore people in the world has got world have got 32 teeth who fixed the number 32 and you know your your nose is downwards suppose it would have been reverse it is raining outside you have to cross the road no umbrella what will happen and who has decided that this this nose should be downwards what will be the answer you cannot say your parents your parents have not decided you have decided if you are taking a fertilized chicken egg keep it there at about 41.5 degrees centigrade 18 days over that small embryo will get converted into a chickling and it will be coming out and a duck's egg a fertilized duck egg it will be taking about 20 days that duckling will be coming out keep the chicken and keep the this duckling near by water the duckling will be jumping into water the chicken will never never jump into water because that small chicken knows if it jumps it will not come out the duckling knows if it jumps it will not drown so that knowledge awareness and consciousness where the ultra modern physics has come to an abrupt end there starts ancient indian upanishadic philosophy two english words awareness and consciousness you may be knowing about quantum entanglement if one of the photon revolving like this and another the other direction take the one of the photon and put it in neptune if the direction of this is changed the direction of the other will also be changed awareness and consciousness is present in living and in non living being if you are taking an atom you know one electron will be revolving like this 1800 2800 12 kilometers per second another electron will be revolving in the opposite direction who has given the direction for the electron s orbital then p orbital d orbital f orbital sp3 hybridized orbital in methane sp2 hybridized oil orbital in ethylene sp hybridized orbital in acetylene who has decided not jayalalitha and not pwd engineer intrinsic in her and awareness and consciousness is present in every living and non living being every every nucleus is spinning at 3.2 million times per second rotating and you know nucleus positively charged particle filled with the positively charged particles electrons are negatively charged particles every one knows that the positive charge and negative charge attract each other that you can see in front of any women's college so you know the positive and negative charges attract why this electrons not falling in the positively charged intrinsic in her and awareness is there so for explaining biochemistry why this one square centimeter old factory system is diagnosing every smell why this so called 14 centimeter long tongue is identifying every taste why this eyes can identify about 49 billion materials it keep in the memory 
and our brain 1.25 kilogram we are using only 1% of that luckily if we would have been using one, more than that the whole earth would have been gone to dogs so 1.25 kilogram of the brain brain is composed of neurons if you keep one neuron after the other neuron then the third neuron and like that the total number of neurons length will be equal to eight times the distance from earth to sun eight times the distance from earth to sun that much neuron is kept in this brain and we are living happily here how this body is functioning like this if you are seeing the animal planet channel you can see the god directly every animal knows what to eat and how to walk how to suck sometimes i used to say if a cow is left to a garden every type of plants and trees and grasses will be there in malayalam we used to say communist bachcha you have heard communist bachcha one tree is known as communist bachcha but this this cow will never eat communist bachcha why it will not eat not because it is congress it knows that it should not be eaten that cow has not gone to saint francis lower primary school there's not god intrinsic inherent awareness and consciousness is present in everything so remember that there ends indian spirituality so indian customs and rituals indian spirituality indian literature i always used to say we have got foundation literature 2000 in sanskrit 10000 commentaries 1 lakh sub commentaries each and every literature 2000 foundation literature 10000 commentaries and about 1 lakh sub commentaries in different indian languages all these literature aimed at changing the mind from bad to good either through messages given in vedas or through experiences given in itihasa or through stories given in purana so we have classified if our level is hearing the story or listening the story and understanding read purana if your level is understanding the life message by reading the experience of others read epics itihasa if you can directly take the message directly go to veda you will be getting the message the vedas are not meant for not meant for hindus and the vedas are not meant merely for brahmins veda mantras are written by 210 rishis none of them belong to brahmin community veda is classified by veda vyasa fisherman family our acharyas written by mahidasa aidareya he was not from brahmin family he is from chandala family mahidasa aidareya has written aidareya brahmana aidareya aranyaga aidareya upanishad mahidareya upanishad he is born for a prostitute namely itara aitareya son of a prostitute he was not a brahmin so our vedas and upanishads are not meant for brahmins it is meant for everyone remember that lord krishna was not a brahmin you know he was an obc <laughs> yadava yadava is obc other backward community sri rama was not brahmin he was a kshatriya and uh, you take innumerable the points you will see that one this are all somebody cooked in between and created for uh, the purpose of confusing hindus so any one in this world can study veda as i told you now in america any hospital you go generally they will be playing the veda mantra vasan eye clinic last month onward they started putting veda mantra in all their hospitals world over veda mantra tiruvananthapuram rcc regional cancer center they are playing veda mantra for getting neuro linguistic effect so the veda mantra give you the message itihasa gives you the experience puranas give you the stories for changing the mind 
ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಗುಡ್ ಅಸತೋಮ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತಂ ಗಮಯ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೇದ ಮಂತ್ರ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇನ್ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಸಂಗಚ್ಛಾಂಸಂವಾಂಸಿಜಾನೂರ್ವೆ ಸಂಜಾನಸದೆ ಸಮನೋ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸಮಿತಿ ಸಮಿ ಸಮನ ಮನಸ ಚಿತ್ತೇಶ ಸಮನ ಮಂತ್ರಮಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸಮಹ ವಿಷಾಜುಹೋಮಿ ಸಮನೀವ ಆಗೂತಿ ಸಮಹೃದಯ ನಿವಹ ಸಮನಮಸ್ತು ಓ ಮನೋ ಯದ ಆವಸ್ತು ಸಹಸತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಐಕಮತ್ಯ ಸುಪ್ತ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಯು ಎನ್ ನೋ ಟು ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಐಕಮತ್ಯ ಸುಪ್ತ ದ ಸುಪ್ತ ಆಫ್ ಯುನಿಟಿ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಆಫ್ ರಿಗ್ವೇದ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೆದರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ರೈಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಮಿಡಿಲ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ವೇದ ಆಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ 8,275 plus or minus 75 BC, it is being penetrated to the scholars, the thinkers and the scientists world over. As I told you yesterday, last year July 9th, I was fortunate enough to go to NASA. I found many people, many people are listening to Veda Mantra there. I was taken by Rahul Dravid's brother, Narayan Dravid, who is the deputy director there. So, they are using Veda Mantra. American Parliament and 14 Provincial Government Session started with Veda Mantra chanting and many of the American hospitals they are listening to Veda Mantra. So any Christian, any Muslim, any Hindu sitting here or leftist, rightist or middleist sitting here, it is meant for everyone. Don't tell that it belongs to Hindu Salud. Take as much as possible and utilize it. Early morning play in your home. you will reach to a different level altogether and uh, that is indian literature i am sure you will be asking questions since that time is coming almost to an end the last part indian scientific and technological heritage so indian customs and rituals indian spirituality indian literature indian scientific and technological heritage yesterday i explained to you indian scientific and technological heritage remember any astronomical parameter that you would like to know about india any mathematical heritage you want to know about india positively kadavayadi number system bhuta sangya number system you are expected to learn without which you will not understand anything when i say shadadri ramanala yojanani ku vayu kakshya paridaha sharam means 5 adri means 7 rama means 3 anala means 3 3 3 7 5 that is the diameter of earth's environment it is given so sharam adri rama anala yojana these th- four numbers three na- four numbers vyasa vyasat manasangunitat pradagaptam multiply the diameter with the forest vyasat ವನ ಸಂಗುಣಿತ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ದ ಡಯಮೀಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ದ ಫೆಲ್ಲೋ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಡಯಮೀಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ವನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಭೂತ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ವನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಭೂತ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ವನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೇದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರಾಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಲರಾಮ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ದಿನಗರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ದ್ವಾದಶ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಏಕಾದಶ ರುದ್ರ ರುದ್ರ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಶಿವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ರಂಧ್ರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ನೈನ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಅಷ್ಟ ದಿಕ್ ದಿಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಸ್ವರ ಸಪ್ತ ಸ್ವರ ಸ್ವರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಭೂತ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಓವರ್ you put in the left turn direction if you do not know buddha sangya you will not be in a <coughs> position to understand what is lagu baskariya what is brihas baskariya what is siddhanta shiromani what is the siddhanta lalla acharya shishya divrutti dandra manjula acharya nothing you will be in a position to understand 
why Indian mathematical heritage could not come to the public, not because of the ignorance of Sanskrit, but because of the ignorance of number system. Not because of ignorance of Sanskrit, but because of the ignorance of Kadavayadi number system, Bhuta Sangya number system. Unless you know the number system, you will not be knowing what are the contributions made by Indian mathematicians to the world. That much great number systems we have got, that much great number of theorems we have developed. Yesterday I was quoting so many theorems. If I repeat the theorems now, I am sure till now nobody has yawned, you will start yawning. So, I am not quoting that one, but surely if you are asking any question from your side, I will be giving it. And remember, our, our scientific heritage of Gopuram construction in Kumbagona, our scientific heritage of, of cave temples, civil engineering, our scientific heritage of Lowell, Lothal, 6 lakhs bricks are used for making Lothal industrial estate, 3500 BC. And Delhi iron pillar, still it has not trusted. Thar iron pillar, Kodumanal sword, muslin sari, and Banaras, the Damascus sword is not really Damascus sword. It is Banaras sword, took by, by Alexander. I don't want to tell Alexander the Great. I don't think he is great. He came here, invaded us, destroyed us, killed us, destroyed many things, and why we have to tell he is great? Somebody is telling it is his freedom. Anyway, Alexander returned with 32 kilograms of wood steel. That wood steel he used for making Banaras sword in Damascus. That is why it is known as Damascus sword. Extremely carburization technique and other thing adopted in India. Available in technological heritage of India book. So, for, for area of Indian heritage, customs and rituals, Indian spirituality, Indian literature, Indian scientific and technological heritage, I am sure 35 minutes might have crossed by now. Even though permission is given for 30 minutes, I would like to express my deepest gratitude. You can ask. Any question does not mean that I will be answering all the questions. If I know the answer, I will give you the answer. If I do not know the answer, I will tell you, I do not know the answer. Whenever you ask question, it gives me opportunity to learn about that area also. So you are asking any type of question, will be a blessing for me to search more and more. With these words, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you, particularly Vivekananda Study Circle for inviting me for giving such a lecture yesterday and today also. Thank you very much. My deepest gratitude. Once again, my pranams to you. Thanks a lot. I would like to thanks Dr. N. Gopalakrishnan for giving such a delightful and extraordinary speech. And questions are welcomed. You can write your questions in the paper piece provided by volunteers and you can pass the paper after writing to the volunteers. Yeah. Harinarayan is standing outside. He has got my specs. If he is bringing my specs, it will be good. The effects which are happening during different acharas are very weak compared to effects of IIT and working in a magnetism lab. How sensible is it to explain all acharas using science? You may not be working for long period in the magnetic field in IIT. After four years you have to go out. But acharas will be continued till your last breath. So the effect of acharas will be more. Acharas are meant for a systematic and customatic life. Magnetic field is not meant for living a Systematic and customatic life. Magnetic field is for making money for a living a systematic and customatic life. Uh, sir, you have mentioned in your speech that it has been proved by putting one's head, one's hand over another person's head. The entire biochemistry of the later person's body changes. Has this discovery been published in a peer-reviewed journal? That's a very good question. Important. Professor Eric Byrne has published one book. I am okay, you are okay. This is the name of the book in which one chapter is fully devoted for blessing, blessing. Another chapter is devoted for 
curse c u r s e shapam and this one anugraham the words you are uttering whenever such blessing you are giving that gives the motivation force and changes the changes the biochemistry of that one these words used that every blessing changes the brain chemistry is not made by me is given in that book uh, namaste sir can i know something about sekunas triguna satva guna rajo guna tamo guna i wanted to use the one of the word even though it is 6:30 pm you are not in tamo guna that is what i wanted to say that rajo uh, satva guna all satvik satvik means very positive very constructive very simple and uh, and very uh, i will say uh, pleasant thing experience in satvik guna rajo guna taking the challenges extremely vigorous going thrashing all the hurdles and moving forward that is rajo guna uh, a king is expected to, to have a rajo guna so called vedic scholar is expected to have satva guna the people who are doing lower grade work they are expected to have tamo guna just like a, a man who is hanging the a culprit or something like victims or something like that or a, a criminal and also those who are doing the work of a butcher those who are doing the work of a, a soldier they are expected to have tamo guna in human being satva guna is there rajo guna is there tamo guna is there it is almost present 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 indirectly 33% satva guna 33% tamo guna and 33% rajo guna is present in us if you are elevating one of these things naturally you will be going 50% satva guna other two will be decreased then you will become a sanyasi or rishi or a saint or a or uh, the son of the god or prophet like that so you can increase the satva guna automatically other thing will be decreased uh, sir it is said that four vedas are not existing in their intact form how true it is four vedas are not extant eh? not existing in their own in their uh, i mean exact form it is existing in the exact form the only veda adarva veda was not existing in the exact form but you, if you are going to madras university library you go to the fifth room inside you can see full of cobwebs go inside there adarva veda in the original form is available but they will not allow you to open that because you know it is composed by dr weber english professor 1921 the moment you open it the pieces of the paper will be going all the vedas are intact no change has been taken place but many shakhas got rip many shakhas disappeared say for example rigveda has got 27 shaga ajur veda as i told you yesterday 108 samaveda 1001 adarva veda 52 shaga presentations majority of them they got lost because now rigveda we have got four shaga out of 27 ajur veda we have got about 37 shaga out of 108 samaveda we have got 14 shaga remaining lost adarva veda we have got only one or two shaga remaining got lost forever how to explain positive energy and negative energy to an atheist what is that how to explain positive energy and negative energy to an atheist and positive energy is the one which gives you positive mental physical and other type of influence in your body that is the only definition any other definition given may not be correct i am not telling will not be correct because an energy can neither be positive nor be negative if it helps for your existence for your function for your thinking for your livelihood that particular energy can be called as positive to you positive to you any energy with the towards your existence that energy can be called as the negative energy otherwise say for example suppose you are keeping a small magnet below you are pillar i mean below and sleeping for 15 20 minutes instantaneously you will start getting headache so that magnetic energy is dangerous negative for your brain but keep one glass of water on a magnet drink tomorrow morning next day morning they say i do not know that magnetized water is good for health so that magnetic is good for this magnetic energy may not be good for
excellent question and if i am telling anything wrong full freedom for you to correct it that will be a blessing for me also how to next how is brahmastram related to atom bomb i don't think brahmastram and atom bomb are the same if i give you the answer they are related i do not have any proof i do not have any proof about 5 years back there was an article in internet written by robert childress robert childress he claims he is a professor i do not know he is a professor no no i do not know whether he is a professor or not and i use the word claims it is my own word he is given professor robert childress many articles are available from robert childress in internet now but that particular article is not there so that particular article says that when he conducted excavation in nagasaki and hiroshima took the human bone from nagasaki and hiroshima and found out the radioactivity of the human human skeleton excavated from nagasaki and hiroshima and also the skeleton excavated from from kurukshetra in haryana the radioactivity of the bone excavated from kurukshetra was seven times more than the radioactivity of nagasaki and hiroshima i am just quoting you what he has said i am not an authoritative person to tell anything about it if you are asking me whether you are thinking that in mahabharata war whether atom bombs are used or not i do not know second claim what he is telling that red soil red soil you might have heard no red soil got converted into amorphous form glassy form for red soil getting converted into amorphous form he tells 1850 degree centigrade is needed i do not know i am quoting his words so high temperature was developed in in kurukshetra war it can be due to atomic energy remember the statement i quoted from that why on one use metal coating so that biological state electricity and i cannot yeah. so i can i feel pessimistic by looking at the present condition of indian economics politics and social status of all all how can i use heritage to uplift my country from this my lot from these sorrows part brings me as such past brings me such a pride as the present condition brings me shame at my inability to act or don't think that one india's past was so glorious so many negatives were there in india so many negatives were there in india and never you should have a wrong impression that everything existed in ancient india were positive positives were there negatives were there we need not uh, feel shameful in bhagavad gita one line is there yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavadi bharada abhyuttana madharmasya tadatmanam srijamyaham paritranaya sadhuna vinashaya cha duskrita dharma samstapanarthaya dharma samstapanarthaya underline that now khalistan movement is not there in india gorkha land movement is not there in india kaveri water problem is not there in india rayalaseema andhra conflict is not there in india nagaland problem is not there in india no chandigarh problem and no belgaum problem between karnataka and other thing and now things are going on very well we have got a sikh prime minister a hindu president and a muslim vice president and a christian defense minister and all the four are ruled by a lady from italy any problem so things are going very well don't think too much pessimistic so it is a glorious india all 123 crore people are living very happily india is the youngest country which is the oldest country you know india is the youngest country which is the oldest country these words are not mine it these words are president bush words american president said the average age of indians 29.5 average age of british people 
average age of american 49.8 but indians 29 29.5 we are the youngest country in the world but the oldest country in the world so india will march forward don't worry let us think about our contribution to india don't worry what others are doing and not doing system will whenever the system in equilibrium is disturbed the system will adjust itself in such a way that effect of the disturbance will be nullified that is the greatness of india you know when karunanidhi created problem jayalalitha came and jayalalitha created problem karunanidhi will come these are all balancing no is all part of it nobody is permanent here only permanent thing in india is that everything is temporary only permanent thing in the world in india is that everything is temporary and we had a a, a lady prime minister americans can never think of a, a lady american president we had a lady president i don't know her name anyway she was there her a lady president a lady prime minister this india is marching forward without any problem every fellow has got mobile phone again manmohan singh is planning for giving two mobile phone for everybody achi 123 crore mobile phone but somebody objected but anybody who is in the top of the coconut trees also has got this mobile phone in the sea also has got mobile phone kerala people total number 3 crore 3.2 crore mobile phone in kerala population is 3 crore only so we do not we need not worry about it. be optimistic but do one thing your contribution to the society don't think the reverse the system will be there just like dr apj abdul kalam said what you have given to india that is important what india has given to you think later as john of kennedy said to americans so he used the word india has never invaded any other country and we have never i allowed any invaders to go back from our country also <laughs> that that is that greatness india has got for the last 10000 years so be optimistic never be pessimistic do we get the original versions of upanishad in english yeah motilal banarsi das has published all the upanishad chaukamba publication they have got all published original translation very highly qualified people have translated highly qualified english indian expert not american expert american expert will be having american view point but indian expert will be having english uh, in, uh, mastering capacity of english and upanishad they are available in plenty chinmayananda has published many books and motilal banarsi das and chaukamba these two people they have published almost all and they have shweta shwetar upanishad you have to take from them the moment you read shweta shwetar upanishad published and also uh, mahanarayan upanishad excellent you will cry you know what is the reason they have gone deep into the subject very deep but shweta shwetar upanishad i quoted earlier यदो वा भूतानि जायन्दे येन वा जातानि जीवन्दि यत् प्रयन्ति अपि संविचन्दि तत् विजिज्ञा सस्वतत् ब्रह्मेति ऑल फ्रॉम श्वेता श्वेत्र उपनिषद सो दे आर अवेलेबल वी हैव गॉट अ रॉन्ग इंप्रेशन दैट मेनी ऑफ द उपनिषद एंड मेनी ऑफ द वेदास एंड मेनी ऑफ द साइंटिफिक बुक्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल इन इंडिया डोंट थिंक दैट दे आर ऑल अवेलेबल इन संस्कृत दे आर अवेलेबल इन हिंदी वर्जन दे आर अवेलेबल इन इंग्लिश वर्जन आल्सो माय फ्रेंड हैज अ फर्म बिलीफ in astrology is astrology a science what do you think about it i have studied astrology for 7 years 7 years astrology has got three part one pure mathematics excellent mathematics it is science pure astronomy it is science third prediction part absolutely not science it is not at all science so science plus science plus non science then how can we believe you are believing so many things which are not at all explained by science you are you have got affection towards your mother how you measure with science and you are angry with your professor can you measure with a the thermometer and you have got aversion towards some food how you will measure with science so many things when you are studying history do you think it is science and psychology was not science up to about 1962 till california an experiment was conducted 
So psychology was something. Sociology has not been still now. It is not considered as science. Music is not science. And so many non-science subjects we are studying in the world. So you need not have to think that only science you will be following. MA economics. Economics is not, till now it is not coming under the science subject. It is something else. Commerce is not science subject. Maybe people are telling scientific subject. So, so many things are there. So, astrology. Astrology is first one by third pure mathematics. One by third pure astronomy. Pure astronomy, I say, scientific astronomy. Not presuming and assuming. And the last one, prediction part. Prediction part is not science. But, don't think that one, it is useless. Many people who are, who are misutilizing astrology, they are creating problem. Any subject if you are misutilizing, that will create problem. Today in Tirupadi, 74 bachas got died. Today or yesterday night. Today, today Vijaya TV, I happen to see 74. Because the medicines gone wrong, or treatment went wrong, out of 125 babies, bachas, in a Tirupati hospital and wrong. It is not the mistake of modern medicine. It is the mistake of the people who used the medicine. Astrology is not creating problem. Ayurveda is not creating problem. Yoga is not creating problem. Mantra is not creating problem. Civil engineering is not creating problem. Mechanical engineering is not creating problem. Those who are using that branch of knowledge create problem. Why did we lose the track in our heritage? Whenever people are not there for studying, learning and teaching, automatically the track will be out. If you are not using a knife continuously, it will be rusted. If you have not learned music, that touch will be out. If you do not know Sanskrit, because you have not learned it. If continuously the learning process would have been there, up to 1640 it was there. After that, English people came, French people came, Dutch people came, Portuguese came. Under the suppression, oppression and the depression of these people, many of these things got evaporated naturally. Naturally, now in Kerala, you can see some, some students asking from where we get rice. They do not know it is from paddy. From where we get paddy. They do not know it is from the paddy field. Because nobody has taught them. Unless you teach our heritage systematically, we cannot expect that people will learn just like that. If and only if your mother points out that that is your father, you will not know that. If and only if your mother points out, that is your father. Then only you will be knowing your father. That pointing out got elapsed in India. That is the problem. So, if we would have taught them at least 5% in 45 minute school classes, 40 minutes modern subject, 5 minutes heritage would have been taught means, people would have learned it. And Jawaharlal Nehru, while inaugurating Nagarjuna Sagar, Damn, he said, we in India, we do not have any science and technology. We have to import all science and technology from the West. That today, the death bell of Indian scientific heritage started ringing. What were the lapses from our side? If you learn it, I assure you, maximum one month. You can deliver lecture for ten hours if you spend one hour for one month. Any subject, particularly from IIT, such a great intellectually capacity having students, you can learn it. But keep an open mind. Don't think that we are great, I can conquer anything. Nothing. Try to become zero, people will make you hero. Like Sai Baba said. So that is our side, we did not venture to learn that. How will you explain untouchability and superstitions? I told you Durachara and Anachara. Untouchability is Durachara. Which was not necessary in India. It was not there also. If you go to Rudram and Chamagam, Ayurveda, you can see. We used to say, Ama punjeshte e pyo nishade pyascha o nam o nam asobat pyo jagrat pyascha o nam o nam astishtat pyo davat pyascha o nam o nam Kulale pya karmare e pyaschaha. Everyone, fisherman, hunter, who is making pot, all chandala, 
एवरी वन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू कम एंड सिट इन द यागशाला ड्यूरिंग वेदिक पीरियड कुलालेभ्य पोट मेकिंग पुंजिष्टेभ्य इज फिशरमैन निषादेभ्य हंडर एंड स्वभद्य दो आर सिटिंग हियर विदउट स्लीपिंग फॉर द मई प्रणाम्स स्वभद्य जागृत सो एवरी वन इज इंक्लूडेड इन द लिस्ट लेटर ऑन नेगेटिव गॉट accumulated particularly after 1350 when taimur started attacking india taimur came to india started killing millions of people from there started many of the untouchability and the negatives and other thing when when our gupta dynasty 750 ad you know out of the 41 secretaries 27 secretaries were ladies and all 1200 small kingdoms existed in india 750 kingdoms belongs to chandalas it is not my, my account dharampal has written the book a beautiful tree dharampal you read that then tell anything if you want to denigrate veda you have got the freedom if you want to belittle veda you have got the freedom but do that after studying vedas not before studying that full freedom in india india is the only country with the protection of police you can throw stone to the bus that much freedom we have got so you have got the freedom for doing anything but do it after learning after studying after understanding puranas contain stories which appear unbelievable true the stories need be need not be believable the rabbit and the lion story will be there you have heard rabbit and lion story it is the story told by bhishma to dharmaputra and you have heard about the tortoise and the rabbit story tortoise and rabbit story it is indian story that is may be the reason why you have not heard so that story is also from mahabharata stories are stories exaggeration will be there you need not take it as the history the wrong impression we have got is that sometimes the people who tell you the story tell you like his history but you have got the wisdom to curtail you should understand what is history and what is story so stories are kadai mast in bhagavada the end of bhagavada that this is the uh, line given kadai mast te kadidamahi yasa vidaya logeshu yasapare yusha vijnana vairagya vivakshaya vibho vacho vibhutir natu paramartyam kadai mast te he parikshit maharajan Sri Suga Premarshi was telling, "Hey, Parikshit Maharajan, I have told you all these stories. All these stories are not histories. Remember that Vijnana Vairagya Vivakshaya Vibho for detachment and for creating scientific temper. I have told you all these stories. Vacho Vibhutir Nato Paramartyam. These are all not Paramartham. These are all stories. Don't think that." all these things what i told you once occurred in india they are stories did not happen in india it is not history in that book itself it is mentioned so very good question how to draw proper message from these stories any story will be having a message as i told you the rabbit and the lion story the message is that if you do not have enough muscle power use intellectual power to fight the enemy that is the message and ambarishas message is there druvas message is there prakladas message is there so many messages buddha story all the story convey you an excellent message if you can rationally analyze that is there a specific method once you have read the story what is the conclusion that you are arriving at that is the message of the story when greek and roman sciences have become so popular why could not indian sciences reach that masses our western scientists and western people created an impression in the mind of indians by saying that they are invaders from the west they wanted to think every indian that indians also are invaders from outside that is why they made the theory aryan invasion theory it is created by max muller when he was delivering a speech in cambridge university as per the instruction of Mac- lord macaulay 
she said that this is needed for ruling india after 12 years max muller met the swami vivekananda vivekananda stood in front of max muller and told max muller in indian language you will be your name will be interpreted in different way max muller will be interpreted as moksha muller moksha max will be moksha you know what is moksha moksha muller and finally max muller came to know that i have created a wrong theory i want to erase that theory from the mind of the historians in the world he went back to cambridge university and he gave so much publicity for his lecture for declaring that i did the mistake of creating aryan invasion theory unfortunately when he created aryan invasion theory nearly 500 people were there when he wanted to erase it off only three people were there as listeners nobody listened to that one so it is remaining jawaharlal nehru people jawaharlal nehru university people they wanted to give maximum publicity for that and they got it reimposed in the mind of indians they wanted to see that the other people from the west or the middle east came over here for avoiding the the negative impression in the indian mind aryan invasion theory was retained taught in the school that is the criminal mistake done by sorry to say the dynasty which is ruling india now and for the last 50 years unfortunately who ever ruled india for 55 years or 5 years or 5 month or 5 day nobody ventured to remove such a non scientific superstitious aryan invasion theory still we are following but since it is india we don't bother whether it is aryan invasion theory or some other invasion theory what is the reason that ancient sciences could not do as well as these relatively modern sciences and modern sciences cannot be replaced by ancient sciences don't keep the impression that modern science can be replaced by ancient indian science modern sciences are modern sciences needed for us excellent wonderful only thing that any gap is there anywhere in the modern science we can use ancient science for filling that say for example many of the diseases there are not treatment in the modern medicine use ayurveda or use homeopathy yoga is good for old age people and naturopathy is good for people some of the ayurvedic medicines are good but ayurvedic medicines cannot be cannot be we cannot say that they are far better than modern medicines modern medicines are good modern civil engineering is good modern technology is good everything modern is that good but anything human i mean any gap is there that can be filled with ayurveda so don't keep the impression that ancient knowledge can ancient knowledge can substitute all modern knowledge never 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 and sciences could not do it well relatively modern so do you think dissemination of the knowledge was in proper dissemination of the ancient knowledge did not take place at all very recently only iim bangalore iim bangalore started teaching vedic uh, vedic management i delivered lecture three times for vedic management for for top mncs they were very happy they said we have to include in the syllabus also iim ahmedabad also started including uh, management in in bhagavad gita because harvard university included in mba syllabus not because we wanted to be first they have included so we have also included is there any concept of srishti chakra of some some finite period of 5000 years why this 5000 years came is it yuga sankalpa according to brahma kumari the 5000 year 5000 year has got nothing to do with india india has got 43 lakh 20000 years 43 lakh 20000 years one mahayuga 
that mahayuga got split into kaliyuga dwapara yuga treda yuga krita yuga 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 so kaliyuga started 3102 february 17th thursday midnight 11:55 that's the starting point of kaliyuga now we are passing through garanama samvatsara garanama samvatsara se dakshinayane Simhe Arge, from today onwards, Simhe Arge, Varshadadav, which Masa, I don't remember. And uh, I think it is next month, Ashada Masa, something like that. So, 5114th year after starting Kali Yuga. How is evolution of man starting from microorganism related in Srishti Chakra? Just like Malsya Kurma Varahascha, Narasim Vamana, Ramo Ramascha Ramascha Krishna Kalki Iti Tedasha. Starting from the, the life in the ocean, from the up to Kalki. Kalki word means Gadgi. The, the avatar of human being carrying the atom bomb or sword for destroying themselves. This is the chakra. After, as Albert Einstein said, I do not know what will be the weapon used if a third world war occurs. But I know what will be the weapons used for the fourth world war. You have heard that? Third world war, what will be the weapons used? I do not know. But weapons used by the fourth world war, that will be bows and arrows. That will be bow and arrows. Because complete destruction will take place. Those who are working at uh, night, night shifts, how they follow after they awake from the bed. Need not follow literally. Whenever you are sleeping in the daytime or night time or uh, in between the junction, whenever you are getting up, follow this mantra. Need not be early morning. Is there any scientific explanation for rebirth? If yes, what is it? I request you one book written by Brian Weiss, California University Psychiatry Professor, now working in Miami University. He has written seven books, of which first book, Many Lives, Many Masters. Many Lives, Many Masters. First book. Second book, Messages from the Masters. Third book, Same Soul, Many Bodies. These three books, if you are reading, this question will be answered. It is the rebirth is the proven beyond doubt, exactly what is mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. Tatasya hi dhruvor mrityu ho, dhruvam janma mrdasya cha, dehino osmin yada dehe, kaumaram yovanam jara tada dehandara prapya dhiras tatra namukhyadi. He has given the story of Catherine, Catherine, one girl studying in California University, when she was subjected to retrogressive hypnotism, retrogressive hypnotism, she was telling what happened yesterday, last week, last month, last year, up to her being fourth month in the womb of her mother. That is retrogressive hypnotism. But Brian Weiss, in old book you can see, Brian L. Weiss, now L is removed. Brian Weiss, Brian Weiss, he conducted retrogressive hypnotism beyond four months in the womb of the or her mother. This girl started talking in some language. He could not understand. Later on he found that this girl was talking pure Egyptian language. A girl who has never gone outside America, she was talking in pure, without any grammar mistake, Egyptian language. Again he conducted that uh, retrogressive hypnotism so many birth back. That girl was talking pure Mongolian language. Pure Mongolian language. All these, if you read, you will never cry. Why? You can understand. Simple English. Very simple English. Very, it will be like thrilling. It so happened. When, when I was uh, traveling from Sydney, one person not known to me, he came and said, I have read this book. You have to read this book. And he gave me that book. The flight, I was fortunate enough to read that four hours when I was 
got trapped in Singapore. I completed that. It was an entirely different book. That Brian Weiss has never come to India. And he has published the first, second and third book. Each book has been sold 70 million copies. 70 million copies. No psychologist or psychiatrist contradicted his statement. Is it clear? It will be available in roadside. Because now, Indians can publish it under the Woodbridge or Hover Bridge also. Need not come from America. Available in India. Anywhere you will get. That fellow will tell 325 rupees. You tell 75 rupees. He will give you for 90 rupees. So, Brian Weiss. Brian Weiss, you say that one, then you will be getting the book. Many lives, many masters, messages from the masters. Same soul, many bodies. Is the same soul, many bodies is a boring book. After reading first and second, you may not venture to read the third book. It has got about 730 pupils, retrogressive hypnotism, three from India also. Is there any sign? How can we learn scientifically about Sakunas mentioned in many places in the Ramayana. What is Saguna? Is it Saguna Vimana? What is Saguna? Saguna. Oh yeah, Saguna. When we are going outside, you are seeing some. Don't worry. We are living in 21st century. All those things are abnormal. And remember, if you... The ultimate aim of Saguna is to create awareness in you that you are going out at this time. You should be careful. You are going, so be careful. When something happened, when a, when a, a cat crosses, then Shaguna. So you have to stand there, make a rotation, then go. So you are conscious that you are going outside. Don't walk without a awareness and consciousness. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. It is generally speaking superstition. It is superstition not needed in 21st century. But remember, when you are crossing the road, don't keep mobile phone in your ears and cross. Then Shaguna will be bad. Is there any scientist, scientific basis for astrology? The question I think I answered. First part, pure science. Second part, pure astronomy. Third part, prediction part. Not scientific. You came up with a figure for the velocity of light from Mahabharata. How did you this is from my book. It is not from Mahabharata. Uh, I do not know from where this, this person got it. I did not say from Mahabharata. I said it is a book written in 14th century by Sayanacharya, minister of Harihara and Bukka. He gave the commentary for Rigveda in which he has mentioned Yojana anam sahasre dve dve shade e dve jayojane eke na nimisharte na kramamana namostu de eke na nimisharte na using one by thirty six of a second the light is being travelled from the from the sun to this place so yojana anam sahasre Dwe 2000, Dwe Shate 200, Dwe Jayojane 2200 and 2 Yojana, 1 Yojana 12.11 kilometer, 1 Yojana 12.11 kilometer, not the value given by me, Indian National Science Academy, that is the value given, so Yojana convert into 12.11, then think that that much is the speed of the light in 1 by 36 of a second, then you will be getting approximately the value of the speed of the light. So this is the quotation from Sayanacharya's Bhashya for Rigveda, not for Mahabharata. But a very good question. How it happened to listen that Mahabharata? I do not know about it. What is your idea of service to our nation that we IITNs can do? First, serving the old age. Two, seek up. Three, hungry, four, orphans, and five, any of your choice, any of your choice, suffering from any area, and if you can contribute, 
ಯಜ್ಞಾರ್ಥಾತ್ ಕರ್ಮಣೋನ್ಯತ್ರ ಲೋಗೋಯಂ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಂಧನೈ ತದರ್ಥಂ ಕರ್ಮ ಗೌಂದೇಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ಸಂಘ ಸಮಾಚಲ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸರ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ಸರ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ ಸರ್ ದ ಪುವರ್ ಸರ್ ದ ಹಂಗ್ರಿ ಸರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಫರಬ್ಲಿ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ವಿಮೆನ್ ದ ವಿಮೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಫರ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಿ ಸೇ ಮಾತೃ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ದೆನ್ ಪಿತೃ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ನಾಟ್ ಪಿತೃ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ವಿ ಸೇ ಮದರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಮೇರಿಕನ್ ಸೇ ಫಾದರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಮದರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗಂಗಾ ಮಾತಾ ಗೋ ಮಾತಾ ಭೂ ಮಾತಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ದೇವಿ ಆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಸರ್ವ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ಸಿಕ್ ಹಂಗ್ರಿ ಪುವರ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಎನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕಲಿ ರಾಷನಲಿ ಲಾಜಿಕಲಿ ಯು ಟೀಚ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಸಮ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಕೋವಿಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾನ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸೀನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ ದಮ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಈಗರ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇವರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಧರ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಆಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟು ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಟೂ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ದ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರ್ಜೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಾಟರ್ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಫೋಸಿಸ್ ನೌ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕೊಲಾಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೆ ಸಂಡೇ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಬೈ ಹರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸೋ ನೈಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ವಿಲ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದಮ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಎನ್ಸ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರೋಲ್ ಟೀಚ್ ದಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೀಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅರ್ಜ್ ಇಂತೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಮಂತ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪುವರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಮಂತ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದ ಹೆಲ್ ಯಮಧರ್ ರಾಜಾ ವಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ದಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೆವನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಹೆವ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೈ ಕಾನ್ ವಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟರಿ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಟೆ
they never want to allow their children also learn that so if if you start putting water in the root in the family 10 minutes every day that is enough or maximum 1 hour per week that is enough today i was delivering a lecture in garodia gopal garodia school and i told them 45 minute is one period for students up to 10th standard 40 minutes you teach modern science 5 minutes you teach either something ramayana mahabharata veda upanishad and something like that. every class every teacher should do that then what will be the achievement within one month the student will be thorough about indian heritage it is not a hard rock to break it's very simple only thing if the will and wish is there don't try that the syllabus will be changed as long as kapil sibal is there he is such a strong man it is impossible to move him even from his own chair because such a heavy weighted man no you cannot change it and dr manmohan singh one among three people who never laughed or nor cried lord krishna did not laugh nor cry and veda vyasa did not cry and laugh dr manmohan singh also did not cry or laugh sthida pratnya uh, arjuna became sthida pratnya after listening to 500 700 shlokas but manmohan singh became sthida pratnya far before that now he is in a position to teach bhagavad gita to anybody all other people used to say victory like this he used to do like this flat i have never seen anybody doing victory in the flat horizontal level but also he used to tell above his head there is a turban below this is a dadi so whether he is laughing or not nobody can understand 35 minutes of obama's lecture in indian parliament he tried his level best to impress manmohan singh in indian parliament i was watching in the tv he was frequently looking to manmohan singh and obama got flabber gasped why this man is sitting whether he is understanding my english or not anyway i am sure that such a great great prime minister who is the chairman of 127 international institutes in the world don't think manmohan singh is low 127 international organization dr manmohan singh is either chairman or secretary or president but in india he is silent because another amachi is there <laughs> so but be proud that we need not worry about thinking about the syllabus and changing the syllabus will not be coming under our purview so that what we can do ourselves taking the role of learning and teaching the best level india is the country which could change everything you know within 62 years whole whole african continent could be converted by english people 62 years african continent which is seven times than indian i mean india that could be converted in 62 years but india after 252 years of foreign rule only 2% could be converted that is the greatness of india that is why god came here 10 times that greatness of india india will come back india will as swami vivekananda told to the press people in an arbor an arbor so many people asked him swami why you are bringing your indian religion indian mysticism and indian superstition to this country america then with a smiling face swami vivekananda said i was standing nearby him and swami vivekananda said to the press people my dear friends i want to tell you one thing 20th century belongs to you americans 21st century belongs to we indians that is swami vivekananda's words 20th century belongs to you americans whereas 21st century belongs to we indians indian knowledge is flourishing like anything spreading like anything and growing like anything and our duty let we be one among the 21 million electric post in india one among 21 million electric post in india you need not generate electricity just pass the electricity generated in the generator to different house so being an electric post that is enough and every electric post will be having a bulb 40 watts anybody coming below that they will be getting light that bulb will not be going around and giving light need not so you have some knowledge whomsoever is coming to you give them the light that is enough with these words i think almost question is over
So I, I hope uh, I could answer majority of the questions. And uh, anywhere if I have gone flopped, you can send email to me if I can give better answer. I got a small library. I will be going through that one and I will be reading and I will be giving you the answer. But today's my experience here is something beyond the level of my own imagination. I was a bit too worried, no? IITNs means it is not a joke for me. I am an ordinary man working in a hotel supplier, working as a hotel supplier in Dwaraka Hotel, Ernakulam. After that came to like this, anyway. So, but I feel thrilled literally beyond the level of uh, words to express my feeling. I do not have any other words. In Malayalam, if it would have been that, I would have told Nanni Aro Udunyan Chulle Indu Padimeyaya Madhavino Padimeyaya Pidavino Patumasam Chuman Nenne Nyana Akki Matiya Garba Vatratino Nanni Aro Udunyan Chulle I do not know to whom express my deepest gratitude. Anyway, one thing I assure you that any day, any time, VSC or the students or anybody would like my presence here, I will be available as long as the breath is there. I am breathing. Breath is there, I will be available. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the professors who are sitting here and all the coordinators of Vivekananda Study Circle and all the Swamiji's. I thought these two Swamiji's will be yawning at least twice. They did not yawn. They never yawned. That is something a greatest award for me with these words. My prayer to each and every one of you, Dirga, Ayur Arogya Ishwadhyana Mavirat Nirastu Uttara Uttara Vivrat Nirastu Idiyaham Prathayami Long, long, happy, prosperous, useful, fruitful, purposeful and meaningful life for each and every one of you, your family members and friends. Deepest gratitudes. Thank you very much. We would like to thank Dr. M. Gopalakrishnan uh, once again. Uh, Asis will present him a book of uh, yeah. Swami Kavikanan Sit. <laughs> Vedant Kesari uh, is being distributed to all the uh, people present here, you can get uh, collected from the volunteers and feedback forms are uh, available. You can fill the feedback form and give it to the volunteers. Uh, first class of uh, BSC will start from uh, this Sunday, 19th, and we have the topic uh, We Youth and Vivekanand, lecture given by Swami Atma Sadhananda Ji. Uh, I would invite Vivek to give the vote of thanks to everyone. Yeah. If you have got email address, I wish to get that. Every week we send 4.8 lakhs email to different people. About Indian heritage, Thursday message, Dharma message. And also we have kept some CDs, DVDs, pen drives, and memory cards, no copyright at all, take as many copies and uh, possible and distribute to others. It will be outside, kept there, CDs, DVDs, memory cards and pen drives carrying 160 hours of speech in English and other languages. Thank you. So just below the library it is kept, that is according to his information. 